Hi everyone, this is Aaron for Zolo Tech. We're going to review the Microsoft Explorer Touch Mouse. Now this mouse has been out for quite some time, but I've had numerous amounts of requests actually asking me to do a review of it. I did a quick unboxing and overview of it, and the mouse itself is pretty decent. It comes in at about $50, but if you look around, you'll find it more around $20, and maybe even cheaper than that still depending on where you're looking now one of the interesting things they've done with this mouse is replace the scroll wheel with this little touchpad here and i'll talk about that more in a second the mouse itself is kind of uh, micro sized it's not very big uh, my hands are exceptionally larger than most but you can see how it fits in my my hand like this uh, it actually isn't too bad but it does have this ring around here that your fingers bump into when you click not a huge deal, but it is something I noticed. If we open up the bottom here, we have a spot for two batteries. Now, Microsoft says this will last about 18 months on two batteries. Now, I'm not sure that I've run into that similar case. Most of these blue, these blue track style mice that they have here uh, last probably with everyday use all day long, a normal 40 hour work week. You'll probably get about four months out of it something like that now if you use it on average you probably could get 18 months out of it now the mouse itself we have this little on off switch and you'll see the blue come on it's a blue led uh, that actually is a better spectrum for picking up different surfaces so this works on quite a few really good different surfaces uh, but you won't find it working on things like glass as some of the logitech mice can we can turn it on and off we have this little transceiver here micro usb or actually regular usb but micro transceiver and it just plugs into any usb port it will work on a mac windows uh, linux anything basically that will accept a mouse although the software that's supported is only for mac and windows now if we click this back in here you'll see it will stay and you just will you can keep it here if you want to keep it from uh, falling out if you're traveling with it or throwing it into a laptop bag the mouse is built pretty well it has this rubber grip around it you don't find that you use it too much but if you do need to grab it it is nice to have this little grippy rubber piece uh, microsoft's mice are quite nice they're very ergonomic and for most hands this is going to feel pretty comfortable We've switched to my Mac, where you can see I have this plugged in. It works just fine. It actually is pretty accurate. If I move my hand fast, you'll see that. And then I can kind of move a little pixel at a time. And it seems to track pretty accurately. Now that's going to vary a little bit depending on what surface you're using. This is just kind of a, a matte uh, cardboard piece that I use for recording. Now if I scroll down, you'll see the scrolling works well. There is that little click under my finger, and I can scroll fast. It's inertial scrolling, and it kind of makes a, a specific sound. Let me have you hear that now. That sound sort of reminds me of a game show wheel, maybe on something like Price is Right, if you've seen that. And it, it is inertial too, so if I scroll really fast and then put my finger down, it actually will stop scrolling. I can stop it midway, and it works pretty well, although I still prefer the mouse wheel. Maybe I'm just old school as far as that goes. Uh, when it comes to this, it seems to work really well and accurate. If I hold down the button, uh, it, it gives me an option on the Mac anyway to switch between different applications. Uh, I'm using ScreenFlow to record the screen here, and it seems to work pretty well, but in track well. Uh, but overall, I still do prefer the wheel. So you could hear that this actually clicks and you feel it in your finger as you scroll. But there isn't a whole lot to this mouse. It does work well. It tracks well. Although I don't know that I'd want to use it for serious game playing. I'd like to stick to a wired mouse for that. However, I think you'll get pretty decent use out of it. It's great for everyday tasks, but I don't like this little rim around here that your finger bumps into. Uh, that's the one annoyance I have with it. Other than that, it's actually a pretty nice mouse and works really well, and you can see it's very portable. Now, it will go into sleep if you just leave this connected. I get that question a lot. If you just leave it on and leave it connected and you don't touch it, it will sleep and save your battery. But if you're turning it on and off, you'll save your battery even more so, uh, and you won't have to worry about that. Now, there is a little indicator here when the battery starts to go dead. It will flash red and let you know that you're getting low on battery. I find that that lasts about an extra day or two, so maybe 8 to 16 hours, and then you'll need to change those batteries. 
but the mouse itself is really nice, especially for the $20 mark. Uh, I think it's really quite a good little device, but it's not anything you would want if you want a really full ergonomic mouse. This is more of a travel style mouse, in my opinion. If you have any questions, though, about this mouse that I, uh, that I haven't answered that you'd like to hear answered, please go ahead and place those in the comments below. Otherwise, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.